What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into voice. Uh, Queen Naja upset. Nicki Minaj fans, I don't know. Let's get Queen Naja recently paid homage to all the R&B singers in the game, she said. A moment of homage to some women who paved the way in girly striving today. Tag a singer who inspires you. Now, some people are saying that Queen copied Lotto's Sunday Service song cover, which people can be inspired. Lotto did the rappers. Queen did the R&B singers, which I think it was very nice on both their end. Then people in the comments were saying, Stop looking at inspiration as somebody copying. You make you you make these people trend and do things to make a way for other people. It is okay for you to say who where you got it from. But I feel like that looks totally different. Like totally different. It's not the same. saying that allegedly Summer Walker didn't like Queen, why did she add her to her homage? And then other people were upset that Nicki Minaj wasn't added, which this is an R&B homage, not a rapper female homage. Hello, what are we talking about? Just find a reason to say some shit. So something that was supposed to be positive, people were trying to make it negative. But y'all leave y'all comments down below when it comes to that. Queen I wouldn't pay these people no damn attention. And I just received a rude inbox after she posted legend with the caption that says, when two plus two not equaling four, someone inboxed her and said, do his hair, bro. Queen responded, the crazy thing is my kids get their hair braided every two weeks and it doesn't last long because one, they flip around a lot and dig their heads into the couch. Two, they have soft hair that can't really hold a style and they are both uncomfortable getting their hair braided every week. So honestly, I wish y'all would just mind y'all business when it comes to my kids' hair. Thanks. Y'all. And if she cut their hair, it's still gonna be a problem. Shut up. You got comments down below. Let me know what y'all think <coughs> when it comes to that. But Daisha was also called out for the same thing on her Snapchat. People have said that Daisha was getting her hair done, but not her daughter's. Someone said, what about Dream? You can't be out here looking the fuck good and her hair not done yet. How do y'all be wanting Dream here? Please send me inspiration because I'm just trying to figure out how do y'all be wanting a girl here to look? Like... It ain't, she's only two, like, it ain't that many hairstyles to do, and I had her getting braids, but the braids pulled out her edges. Yeah, that shit too damn harsh. Girl, these people. On one side, so it's like, okay, I'm gonna take a break from that, because I didn't want her fucking hair falling all out and shit. Next, what y'all want a wig? God damn. So it's like, what the, how y'all want the girl here to look? Like, I'm just trying to figure it out. She got two cute puff balls. I slicks it up when it's time to go somewhere. Oh, hello. We house. She Which we knew you would. We had the house. <clears throat> but please send me some inspiration of what some two year old heads look like. Cause. Bet ain't nobody gonna send none. Bet ain't nobody gonna send none. It ain't that much to do to natural hair. She's two. Her hair is not super duper long. It's thick, yes, but it's not like long like the little Indian babies. Like, so it's like, which one we do? Like them little Indian babies is crazy. <laughs> King and Lena recently posted this video on their TikTok, telling my fiance Bae? I missed my period. Babe, I got news. I missed my period. Huh? What do you mean? How you missed your period? I'm like three days late. Three days late. Yeah. Not I'm not supposed to be late at all. I'm three days late. So you have to take a pregnancy test. I missed my period. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's all right if we have another baby, right? Who? Shit, no. You fucked up? Hell no. no. You good? You don't want another baby? No. Come on, babe. Let's have no. another one. I already missed <laughs> my period. So it looks like, yeah, yeah, you're not good at what you say you're good at. What's the name? I'm three days late, babe. We have to go get a pregnancy test. Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday. Can't be. No way. Can't be. What you mean it can't be? Can't Friday, be what? It can't be, it can't be three days. I babe. already missed it. We're going to have to take a pregnancy test. What? It's all right. Are you we can have baby? another baby. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. <clears throat> no, ma'am. Someone in the comments said, please no, he doesn't even take care of the son. How oh, y'all gonna have another kid but don't even take care of the first one? <laughs> Next video. What in the hell? He would just be saying any damn thing. Michi is- It is what it is. I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to say get into the next one. Michi is tired of people mentioning Carmen in his comments and now that Carmen is single again, the comments have gotten worse. Here's what Michi had to say. Mother 
keep asking about certain people on my channel and I'm just like, bruh, certain people just may not be back on my channel, won't be back on my channel ever again, you know what I mean? Which is okay, which is cool. It's, you know, no bad blood or nothing like that, but I am going to answer questions, bro. This is like a catching up with me type of video, you know what I mean? Just to give y'all a different outlook on everything that's been going on with me. It's not really me addressing shit, it's just at the end of the day, man, I need y'all to chill. You know what I mean? Okay. It's not real chill. Chill out in the comments, bro. Like, even though I know y'all probably not gonna chill out, I know y'all gonna probably keep doing it because, you know, y'all like seeing, you know, the. I'm gonna send Michi how to filter um, Karma's name because he can't take it. Uh, the content that I was doing with Carmen. I know y'all like that shit and everything, but I need y'all to chill with the action. Carmen, 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 Carmen. Please chill, chill, chill. Please. I'm trying to move on from that that era and that, you know, that content and that, that all of that stuff. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so focused and locked in on what I got going on. You feel me? Crystal's new boyfriend was revealed by So Real T. Yesterday, Crystal posted up a picture of her name tatted on his hand with the caption that says, if you F with me, go tap my name. And then right after she tweeted that, he posted a picture of himself with her name tatted. So people ended up putting two and two together. She tweet, damn, how y'all find his page? Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. <laughs> He post a picture with actor Morris Chestnut with the caption that says, ladies, who look better? Be honest. Poor DDG got roasted. DDG is a nice looking brother, but Morris Chestnut is a different type of fine. He's chestnut fine. You get what I'm saying? Um, I seen Morris Chestnut in person and we was in the gym and I accidentally walked around a corner and almost ran into his ass. That nigga's a different type of fine. And he 50, he 50. Morris Chestnut looks amazing. Still. Oh, his son? He has a son. Fine. He looked just like him. It's great. He just got hair. The comments someone <clears throat> said, the fact that he even typed that is outrageous. Now, why would he want to hurt his own feelings like this? You can put Morris next to whoever and it's always going to be Morris. No, huh? it's not. We can argue Morris Chestnut or Terrence Howard. Let me make sure I'm talking about the right term. No, 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 no. Morris Chestnut or Lorenz Tate. That's what I meant to say. Morris Chestnut or Lorenz Tate. I'll take Lorenz Tate for 100, Alex. My mom said, about? even as Ricky laying on the couch, dead, he looks better. That's cold. Boy, move and give Morris the phone, LOL. Now, Morris <laughs> Chestnut himself responded. He said, I appreciate all the love for real. I swear I'm just minding my business and staying hydrated, period. Now, DDG still being delusional, he responded. He said, look at 5050 in the comments. Let's go. Poor DDG. Then DDG tweets, so I'm ugly? Bet. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. You're a nice looking brother, but Morris Chestnut is a fine specimen. <laughs> now this is a new series that I'm starting called Outrageous Things on the Internet. Y'all thumbs up the video and comment down below if y'all like this series. But a girl's going viral after dancing on another man at a Caribbean festival by accident. She thought the dude that was behind her was her boyfriend until she looked in the camera and saw that it was another dude. Now keep in mind her boyfriend was right next to them while they were dancing. At any point he could have stopped it. I would have cussed his ass out. Why you got me dancing on this man that ain't even you? They say, yo, my man, this is my girl or something. It took her looking <laughs> in the camera seeing that it wasn't her boyfriend for the dude to even move. What type of crap is that? The boyfriend can't be mad. He should have took action. But here's what she had to say. One, my man is in the original video. And two, you found it funny. Hence why I uploaded the video because we both found it hilarious. Let's make one thing very clear. I would never embarrass my man or anyone that I care about for a few seconds of fame, so check yourself. And yeah. just because you would feel embarrassed in a situation- She don't look like she sound like that at all. Like this, doesn't mean everyone else- I didn't expect her to talk like that. <laughs> feels that way. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, <laughs> but context matters. But again, I think so much of the negative comments such as, why would you put yourself in that situation? And how can you mistakenly whine on someone else? That's cheating. Why didn't he react? Except from the fact that people don't have an understanding of carnival culture. A dog is going viral after his owner secretly recorded him sitting like a regular human. And then when the dog heard... Oh, nah, Mango, is going viral after his owner... If Mango were to ever do that, me and that nigga would have to have a conversation. Why are you sitting like this? What the hell? 
secretly recorded him sitting like a regular human. And then when the dog heard his owner moving, he tried to sit regularly like uh, a regular dog. But it was already too late. He uh, caught him uh, on camera. Uh. My boy, you got caught. And the owner himself tried to confront shit. the dog. But here's the dog's reaction. Brady, you were caught. The people know. Your secret's out. Yeah, Brady. What's going on with you? I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Be careful. <laughs> Brady, what you got going on? <laughs> Y'all leave your comments down below if you enjoyed this series. I have a whole lot more. Until next time, peace. Hell no. Something ain't right. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.